For a long time, software engineering was seen as one of the best careers out there. High salaries, flexible hours, remote work, and global demand made it a dream job for millions. In fact, in many job rankings, software developer topped the list, even beating roles in healthcare and finance. But lately, things have started to shift. Fewer job postings, more layoffs. And one big question hanging in the air, are software engineers being replaced by AI? What's really going on here? And more importantly, is 2026 going to mark the end of software engineers as we know them? Let's break it all down. Back in 2019, there were around 1.5 million software developers in the US, and the number was expected to grow by 22% by 2029. But AI wasn't advancing this fast back then. Jump to 2025, and the picture looks very different. Job growth has not only stalled, it's gone into reverse. Big names like Microsoft, Meta, and Alphabet have made massive cuts, with over 110,000 software developers laid off globally. These aren't just small startup layoffs. This is happening at the top. And a major reason behind it? The rapid rise of AI tools taking over coding tasks. Just a few years ago, coding meant long hours, debugging headaches, and lots of teamwork. Now with AI tools like GitHub Copilot, things look very different. With just a few instructions, AI can generate clean, working code in seconds. Companies have started to notice. In 2024, a study showed that 32% of tech companies were already using AI to automate coding tasks. That number is growing fast. And here's the key shift. These tools aren't just helping, they're replacing. Instead of hiring large teams of junior developers, companies are using AI to do more with less. So here's a question for you. If a company can use AI to build software faster and cheaper, why would they keep hiring developers at the same rate? This isn't just about Silicon Valley, it's spreading across industries. In early 2025, Workday laid off 1,750 employees. Salesforce cut 1,000 jobs. In both cases, the reason was the same. The use of AI tools to handle tasks that previously needed human developers. In fact, 45% of non-tech companies are now planning to replace part of their development teams with AI in the next few years. That's a massive shift, and it's already happening. The biggest shift we're seeing now is that AI has gone from being just a tool to becoming a true teammate. Tools like ChatGPT and Copilot can now write full applications, fix bugs, test code, generate documentation, and even manage deployment tasks. In some companies, AI is handling entire development workflows from start to finish. It's not just helping developers anymore, it's doing the job itself. And from a business point of view, this is gold. It's faster, more cost-effective, and gets things done with fewer resources. So, is this the end of software engineers? Not quite, but it's definitely the end of software engineering as it used to be. Basic coding tasks are now being handled by AI and junior developer roles are getting harder to come by. Companies aren't just looking for people who can code anymore. They want those who can think strategically and work alongside AI. If the job is only about writing code, it's becoming a tough space to survive in. But it's not all bad news. There's still a future, just a very different one than before. What can humans still do better? AI is powerful, no doubt, but it still has its limits. It struggles with understanding complex business logic, making ethical decisions, solving creative problems, and designing large interconnected systems. That's where experienced developers still stand out. The real value now isn't just in writing lines of code, but in shaping how that code is built, how it works, and how it fits into the bigger picture. More and more, developers are shifting into roles where they guide and supervise AI, not just sit and type. It's a different kind of skill, and one that's becoming more important than ever. This isn't the first time a big shift has changed how developers work. In the 1950s and 60s, coding was done on punch cards. Then came compilers, IDEs, and open source platforms. Each step made things easier and scared people about losing jobs. But every time the industry adapted, now we're seeing the next stage, AI writing code. In 2021, GitHub Copilot launched. By 2023, it was writing 40% of the code in projects where it was used. 
Tools like AlphaCode from DeepMind showed AI could even compete in coding contests. The fear is understandable, but history shows that new tools usually create new roles. What skills will matter in 2026 and beyond? To stay in the game, developers need to shift their focus towards skills AI can't easily replace. Areas like AI supervision, where humans review and improve machine-generated code, are becoming essential. Software architecture is still a human-driven task. AI struggles with designing complex systems. Cybersecurity, data privacy, and tech ethics are also growing fast and rely heavily on human judgment. Hybrid roles that mix AI understanding with development know-how are on the rise too, and fields like robotics, machine learning, and edge computing still need human insight, at least for now. So here's a question. What are you learning today that AI won't outpace tomorrow? A lot of the current layoffs are also tied to economics. In the last decade, tech companies grew fast and hired big. But with the economy now more uncertain, they're cutting costs and AI gives them a way to stay lean. It's not just about replacing people, it's also about staying profitable. In fact, automation could boost productivity by over $230 billion in the coming years. That's the kind of number companies can't ignore. Even prominent tech leaders have shared their views on the evolving role of software engineers in the age of AI. The Microsoft co-founder has consistently emphasized that AI will not replace software engineers. In discussions with Nikhil Kamath, Gates stated, we still need those software engineers as we are not going to stop needing them. He believes AI will enhance productivity in sectors like education and healthcare, but will not diminish the demand for skilled engineers. Meta's CEO has acknowledged the significant impact of AI on developer roles. In a podcast with Joe Rogan, Zuckerberg revealed that AI at Meta is reaching the capabilities of mid-level software engineers. He noted, we will get to a point where all the code in our apps and the AI it generates will also be written by AI engineers instead of people engineers. Google's CEO highlighted the growing integration of AI and software development. During an earnings call, Pichai mentioned that over 25% of Google's new code is now generated by AI, with human engineers focusing on reviewing and refining it. This shift indicates a transformation in engineering roles emphasizing oversight and innovation. These perspectives underscore a significant transformation in the tech industry. While AI is augmenting software development processes, the need for human expertise remains crucial, albeit in evolving capacities. What about new graduates and junior developers? This is where it gets tough. New grads used to enter the industry through internships or junior dev roles, but now many of those roles are being automated. Companies are skipping entry-level hires and relying more on AI or outsourcing. So the challenge for new developers is even bigger. They need to show how they can work with AI, not just write code. Yes, automation is replacing many traditional roles, but it's also creating new ones. The future won't be about competing with AI. It'll be about collaborating with it. Developers who understand how to prompt AI, check its results, and steer its logic will be in demand. Also, jobs are popping up in AI ethics, tech policy, robotics, and human-centered design, areas that still need a strong human touch. And let's be honest, AI still makes mistakes. A human who knows how to spot them is worth a lot. So is 2026 the end? Here's the truth. 2026 won't be the end of software engineers, but it might be the end of just coding as a job. Developers who adapt, learn AI tools, and think strategically will be more important than ever. The profession is evolving, not dying. So for anyone thinking about the future, don't just ask, can I code? Start asking, how can I code better with AI? That's the mindset that's going to matter. Over to you. What do you think about all this? Are AI tools helpful or are they taking over too much? Have you started using them in your own work? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to keep learning. The future's coming fast.